So let's get started. Here we have our index.html page. You can see over in my folder structure, it's basically just two scripts. I've got jQuery loaded and SP slider for SharePoint slider. A pretty basic folder structure, CSS, image, JS. Inside here, we've got jQuery and SP slider. So if we open up SP slider, what we're gonna do is first, we're just gonna create a basic jQuery plugin. So we're gonna wrap this that we have access to jQuery within it. And we're gonna create a new uh, jQuery plugin called SP Slider. I'm just going to move this out here. Now, whenever our function is instantiated, the user is gonna pass in some options. So what we're gonna do with those options is we're going to capture them and expand on them. So I'm gonna create a new private variable called settings which is actually going to extend the options. Instead of default width and a height. Now with SharePoint, I'm gonna use a library called SP Services. It's gonna query uh, our SharePoint library to get, um, to get the, the URL data. Let's clean this up a bit. Okay. So that's basically what we need. So now whenever a user comes in, what they can do is they can, you know, apply this to a container and they can say, and that's your basic slider. What they're also going to do is put in their, their URL of their SharePoint site. And maybe there's a subsite that they're in. And then we're going to put the list name. And that will be, you know, pictures, for example. So that's generally what the user is going to do whenever they use this plugin. So we're going to keep expanding on that. Now, real quick, to make sure that we can enable chaining on this plugin, we just want to return this. That way the user can chain on to SP Slider with something else. Next, what we're going to do is set the width and the height of the element that was passed based either on what the user passes or what the default is. So before I do that, what I like to do in these functions is set self equal to this. That way I can use self throughout the plugin. So we're gonna say self.height, because remember we're referring to the element on the page, should be settings.height. And self.width should be settings.width. And that's it, that's gonna set our plugin height. That's gonna, sorry, that's gonna set our element height. Now to test that, what we're gonna do is go into index and let's just set a CSS file here. And make sure it's a style sheet. And let's go into the CSS and we're going to say all divs should have a border of one pixel solid red. Okay, let's go back, save that, save that. Now, what we're going to do is in index.html, we're going to put a div and we'll say test. Let's refresh our page here. Okay, so we've got a red border test. Now let's give this an ID of test. Nothing changes, right? So now down here, what we're going to do is put a script tag. And we're going to actually call our plugin. So we'll say test.sp slider. And we're not going to call it with any options or any attributes because here you can see we've already given it a width of 300, I'm sorry, width of 400 and a height of 300. So if we refresh this page now, this div has a height of 300 and a width of 400. So now we know our plugin's working and we can move on and make it a little bit nicer.